Anyway, there's been some discussion about uh, spindle speeds. So let me, uh, five, nine, seven, six, six. Okay, it doesn't show it here, but those numbers come up with a uh, a G rating of uh, around 40. Okay, and and there we go. If I click it again, it'll come up and show it. So the this is what I had it running at before. This is what I have the mill normally running at in Mach 3. Um, I did a bunch of screen. Ca I took pictures of all the screens and how I ha how I have it set in Mach 3. And so when I came over here, they weren't right. I set up anyway. I've got it set for 6,000 RPMs, and we're just going to listen to it. There's no reason to watch the spindle. Okay, nice and quick, both up and down. Um, if I go back in there and change them, and, and let's put them down to... Uh, it, it took quite a bit. Let's go 5,000 and 5,000. And each one does have a bit of effect. So uh, now we're down to 12 G's. A little bit slower, hard to tell. Um, and basically, when I got it down on the. got these down around 100. Whoops. Uh, then it became noticeably different. So, of course, that's a quarter of a G. I guess it wasn't a hundred. Uh, I must have taken. I must have had them sitting at ten. Which I don't know why you would. But if they happen to be there, because you don't, you're not, uh, ah, I clicked on spindle before I clicked on save. There we go, 0 0.025. Okay, so if you happen to have your numbers, for whatever reason, down that low, uh, it could create a, a really slow start and stop in uh, just because of Mach 3. We're going to put this back up. And I don't remember for sure how or why these numbers were. I, I'm sure they're, they're way over what the max is needed just for kids and giggles let's run the uh, acceleration up even more yeah now it's about on par with velocity Yeah, it'll just keep going and going. Hmm. I'm not sure it saved those. Okay, it did that time because it went back to the same 5959 I had. Now the dwell light's flashing. That's telling me I got a dwell set up in there. Let's go change the dwell. Uh, spindle set up. Clockwise delay set up. Let's take that to 0.3. Counterclockwise. I'll leave it at one. I'm only working with clockwise right now, so let's 
take the spin to uh, down to 0.3. Now, if it doesn't like it, it will spin backwards, and you might be able to hear it. Yeah, so that's just simply uh, those motor tuning things are overkill. I'm not getting any increase from uh, having it much higher. And since this is mock here and how long it's going to delay before it sends the signal, uh, the difference between 0 0.01 and 0 0.03, uh, or 0.1 and 0.3, I don't think is uh, going to be na is going to be noticeable. And it's firing up backwards anyway. So let's change this to two, and let's change this to. Yeah, that was 3,000, and at 3,000 it backs up. Uh, which I got it to where it didn't do that on the Rev 4 or Rev 5 board, so I'm not really going to screw with it until. So, anyway, I'm going to go back and put the motor tuning back to where I had it. Okay, I'm going to get back to what I was doing. I'll try to get this posted soon. <laughs> 